going to do a video here. Training realistically. Something that we probably should all be doing. That's what I'm going to be working on myself. Is shooting from behind real cover. Rocks, boulders, berms, ditches. Behind anything that is real cover. Something that will actually deflect actual rounds from incoming rounds. Not barrels, plywood walls, or barricades, none of that stuff. Square range is great. You know, it will help with the basic fundamentals and marksmanship and getting to know your rifle and your weapon and your your uh, optics and things like that. But in a real-world SHTF situation, your ass is going to be, be behind real cover. Um, when, you know, shooting from behind real cover... Engaging from behind real cover, dirt mounds, rocks, concrete walls, cement foundations, anything that will deflect incoming enemy fire and not penetrate through it into you or your team. Cover, not cover. Concealment, different, but not cover. A bullet will shoot right through that. That is solid concrete foundation about that thick. That is cover. That's old school concrete too. That's probably a hundred years old. Hardcore old school concrete. Think about it. Hence why I've said it a dozen times. When you patrol your property or your AO, you look for areas of concealment and cover and fighting positions. When I'm out there, I look. It's not only just looking for trespassers or anything like that. I'm looking at areas like, oh, I could get behind that, you know. But, you know, also from the other direction. Look at all different directions because you never know where the enemy is going to be coming from and you want to be able to get behind that and know your areas and know where you can get behind and where they're at on your property you want to know multiple areas to defend and engage but the, you know fundamentals on a square range is great like i said you need that but looking beyond that into a reality-based mindset that's what i like to think about you know is what is the reality of the situation you know, what are you going to really be fighting behind? Because plastic barrels and plywood walls will not do you any good when bullets start flying your way. When they do, your ass is going to be jumping behind solid, real cover. And you'll need to have that skill of shooting behind from behind real cover. You know, that's the thing. You just got, you, incoming rounds, you're not going to be standing out on a square range. You're going to be behind cover. And you want to get behind something as solid as possible that rounds won't penetrate through. Now, I'm not some expert. And I'm not some high-speed, low-drag, fancy YouTuber. But most of those same guys that you see doing that stuff, doing the fast mag changes on the square range and they're, you know, real quick and everything, they'd be jumping their asses behind real cover too when incoming rounds start flying. Think about it. Get out and do it. Train that way. Train realistically. And that's something I personally am going to be working on myself. I already have a little bit, but the more I think about it, when the... Th Really, when the shit goes down, you want to be behind real cover, something that's solid, but you also want to be able to know how to defend yourself and defend and fight from that position. Because a rock and a ditch and things like that aren't going to be the same as a barrel or some plywood barricade that's going to be, you know, that you're training on. Like I said, square range is good for the fundamentals. Don't stop doing that, but also add training and engaging targets from behind real cover that you're going to be using when incoming rounds start flying your way. That's all I got. Keep it heavy.